Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Power to come on now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez. Show my, you better watch out. You better watch out because Haley Van Lith is coming. Haley Van Lith is coming. Before we jump on, on this newest rant, thank you so much for your continued support of this channel. I appreciate y'all. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, hit that bell. Share the video, pound the like button, come member, membership live at 9 p.m. Tuesday. Don't miss it. PCU is A and O, folks. PCU A and O. That's right. The team that Haley Van Lith transferred to from LSU is A and O and just beat Notre Dame yesterday. 76-68, Hedley Van Lith finishes with 21 points, seven assists, as TCU comes back from a deficit. In fact, they outscored Notre Dame 31-12 in the fourth quarter in an eight-point win. They were down 10-14. Jeez Louise, they were down 10-14. They were down... <clears throat> Maybe I can't. I'm sorry. They're down 10, 6, 6. Oh, they're down 11 going into the fourth quarter. Down 11. Haley Van Lith goes 8 for 15, 7 assists. Sedona Prince goes for 20 points, 20 rebounds, 8 blocks. <clears throat> Folks, we have a team that we we have a team that you need to watch. And that's TCU. In that game, Hannah Hidalgo goes for 27, but not the most efficient, 9 for 22. Nine rebounds, five assists, three steals, but it was not enough. It was not enough to hold off the TCU Horn Frogs. Haley Van Lith finished the game in the fourth quarter with two, four, Six, and she had seven, seven points in the fourth quarter for 21. TCU is doing some work, man. TCU is doing work, and Haley Van Lith is back to playing the position that she plays. Haley Van Lith is the size of a point guard, and that's the problem. <coughs> She's what five nine. <clears throat> she's listening at five nine. She's probably not five nine. She's averaging 19, four, seven assists, 5.3 boards, 43% shooting. If you compare it to last year at LSU, which the season was a complete disaster, where she finished with 11.6 points, 3.6 assists, 2.4 boards, 37.8% shooting. This is what's funny. It's like last year they tried to put her in this position of being a point guard at LSU. She wasn't a point guard. She's still not really a point guard. But she's being allowed to operate the way she played at Louisville, where she averaged 19 for her last year at Louisville. 19 for, sorry, 19 four and a half boards, 3.2 assists where she was a much better player. She goes to LSU and is her shots, her shots dropped by seven. Now she's back up to 16 shots a game, the way she's been for most of her career at Louisville. We are seeing a different player. We're seeing the player that folks thought would be at Louisville, but you had her playing out of position and you limited her to what she does. You limit her to what she does. So TCU is a team that's for real. They're 8-0 now. They won again today over South Florida. They beat Notre Dame yesterday. They have a win over 13th ranked at the time. And, <clears throat> oh, man, this cough is fucking not going away, folks. It's killing me here. I apologize. 13th ranked at the time, NC State. TCU's got a good team, everybody. They have a good one-two punch with Haley Van Lith and Sedona, Sedona, whatever her last name is, Sedona Prince 
it's a team to be – you better watch out. You better watch out because TCU's going to be in the top 10 probably next week. And they have a game versus FAU before they travel to play South Carolina in the U.S. LBM Coast to Coast Challenge. That's in Fort Worth, Texas, actually. So that's a home game for TCU. They're not traveling. That's a home game. TCU is in in Dallas or Fort Worth, I believe. I think they're in TCU. TCU is in Fort Worth. <clears throat> so that's a home game for them. They're not traveling for that game. That's a big, big game. That game is on December 8th. December 8th next week. And after that, their schedule, very favorable. Very favorable. All they got, only ranked teams they have that are currently ranked, the rest of the way on their schedule is Iowa State and Kansas State on West Virginia. But Kaylee, Haley Van Lith is playing ball. She looks like the player we saw at Louisville. So beware, be ready, be be watching out, be paying attention for for a Texas Christian, because this year I think this year we're having a, we have a wide open tournament field. I don't think there's anyone that's head and shoulders <clears throat> above the rest. I do think UCLA is the best team. I think UCLA is winning the national championship, but I don't think there's anyone that's head and shoulders over everybody else. South Carolina, I'm I'm curious to see how South Carolina does against them because they have a six seven big who can fill it up. And that's what will give South Carolina trouble is they're not, they're not big like they used to be. So we shall see what happens. But Haley Van Lip is balling, man. Give her her props. She's balling. I'm going to talk to the comments. What do you think of this? Do you think the TCU Horn Frogs are an actual threat this year? Has Haley Van Lip completely turned her game around now that she's playing the proper position? Let me know what you think. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow. Leave, the, leave your comments. This is Rudy's rant, facts over feelings. Come on now.